Today's a chill day, bro. Kind of low energy for anything else. Just a relax, smooth. Bro, I'm actually too tired to tilt today, though. I've had so many, like, XT games that if I had a lot of energy, I would have tilted. But we're too tired to tilt. Let's do this. Wait, but like, why would he pick Wukong into Jax? Wait, is that Swain top? No way you would pick Wukong into Jax. That doesn't make sense. You literally don't win that matchup ever. I don't get it. I don't really mind Swain top that much either. Oh, it is Wukong top. Mm. If he's on the one trick, he's trolling. That pick is terrible. Wow. Low homies pathing away from top lane. When this guy doesn't even have flash. And there's a scaling bot versus scaling bot. We lost. I'm a jungle man. It bothers me when junglers don't know how to path. Doesn't really need a leash. And he's gonna do a level 3 top for sure. That's his bone plating. You can do that and he won't reach. Just kidding, he reached. I can do one more trade and I don't have to play passive here. I chill little homie, chill. Now it's the Shaco top by the way, so I'm gonna be relaxed here. We're gonna take deep breaths and not do much. Actually, just kidding. Oh come on Shaco, leave. Oh you're done! I mean doomed, not dumb. Take it slow. Such a good wave angle position too. He has to take it very slow because he does win the full all-in. But I'm waiting for my moment the entire time. This is why I don't like the smash of as Wukong. If the Jax player is smart in terms of like trading and pathing, it doesn't look playable for you, bro. All I have to do is just keep on playing trades. From level 1, I can put so much pressure on you. If I kill the slow, then I can get this minion too. Like that. And I get the level 3. Wait on the auto. Perfect. What? That's what I don't like. Do you see that? When he E's, you can't click. Nice trades, bro. You're so fucked. Okay, this Wukong is an emotional character. Why is he trading with me on a huge wave that even if I die, he still can't even crash the X-Man! Why are you this fed, man? I'm glad you guys pathed bot, by the way, early. Seems like the game is already over. When the Shaco is 4-0 at 5 minutes in. Whatever. I thought if Lee Sin stopped, Shaco has to be pot side there. I'm not really tracking jungle too much. Oh my god. I did W, that's the only way I kill. My ult wouldn't kill there. Trust, I know this champion's damage. I don't think he's ever gonna pick Wukong again into Jax, by the way. Next time he will permanent Jax before picking Wukong. He might win this game though, due to Shaco being so fit, but we'll see. Got a trade on him, it's worth uh, missing minions a bit. Alright, he's emotional. I might get shake out right now, immediately, by the way. Bro, the right click kills you. I'm gonna kill him, by the way. One Q auto. Oh my god, man, why are you this fed? I didn't expect the fucking auto attack to do this much. I kill him if he can't kill me, by the way. He's already cancer fed. It's not like he's gonna get stronger against me. He's like basically as strong as an he should be or will be. This is a fine sacrifice, by the way. I need to change the tempo. The way the tempo is going is Shaco is going top, killing, dying, or just getting the kill and then killing bot and then killing top and then killing bot. Now I need to fucking play the game proxy. But the crazy part is our team is just fucking running it. Even if you change up the tempo like this, our team is the one forcing that to Shaco and dying. Nothing to do, just just base. Nah, our team wants to lose. There's nothing you can do. They're going in here and dying for no reason when we're gonna change up the tempo and roam. They're just griefing. He's 
dead if I take slow. There we go, perfect. You need to play the fights very fucking like, what's it called? Confident and slow. You can't choke and panic. Dude, legit, like there's Fed and then there's Shaco right now. Perfect. He's not worth my flash. The better play is to keep pushing this and cancel him from actually being able to farm. So I'm gonna fast push this all the way as well. Perfect, he's so tilted. He's gonna greedy back again, but then I keep going forward. Make him even miss this wave as well. Perfect. Just like this. And now we have fucking FF. And now we have FF. That's nah, fine, it's fine. We kill him, we kill him. So like now it's worth the flash because he's going to miss the double wave. You get me? If you do it early, well he will catch the whole wave. But now it's actually fine. I actually would have been able to kill this tower if I just hit tower first. Now it's too hard to commit. But I do get it low enough that I can actually TP back and kill it. So it's fine. Plan is make this guy fucking useless. I'm normally not a fan of tabbies, but this game has to do with tabbies. Guy just has 10 kills with a million gold. Can't fucking survive. No matter what I do though, I think my team's going to lose because they're going to keep tilting and dying. And Talia has 10k. Ah, actually, just FF. Never mind. There's no way. I have to kill Talia through that damage. I have to kill this guy through the damage. I have to kill this scaling pick. This guy's gonna arm back and peel. It's one of those pointless games to play. Like, if they stop just inting for one second, maybe. But when they're this tilted and this bad, it's not even worth my energy. Just conserve energy. I did get the tower though. Which is the main deal. Kinda wanted the Wukong in the dark woods. I have dark still. There's no way we can win this fight here by the way. Look at our team. This is just sad. This is just sad. Your team is still not gonna come and uh, to the W before I kill the right one. Yeah, that's fun. We'll play them lower, bro. I will kill them both now that they have no more. You don't know, bitch? Or what? Or what? Do you really think you're Thanos or something? Relax on that shit. Oh, if it reaches, he dies. No point now. I need Kanek Rukin, actually, in this particular game. Before anything else, there is way too much magic damage that I will die no matter what I do. So the purchase has to be Kanek Rukin. Right now, ASAP. And then maybe Frozen Heart, and then Sterix. I mean, even with that, though, I don't have the damage then. But, like, what the fuck can you do? Because with Send, it's way too squishy. You will fucking die in one shot. You have to sacrifice your damage here. Okay, change up the tempo. The whole team's bot here. This is how you pressure the game as. Jackson and losing team like this. Let me lose Baron, but it's fine. No matter how much I change up the tempo, they will all die and lose Baron here. Regardless. Okay, let's get out of here. I mean, that's just giving us pressure to play with. So that's good. Okay, Triss, keep hitting the tower, I guess. Wait for me to fully die. 
Good macro, guys. Really good macro. Really well played there. No, no, awesome fucking decision to come bot here on a wave like this. They should not be legal to do Baron 4v4. Really well played there. Come bot. Don't kill the Wukong here immediately. Pathetic. Just stop. Don't show. Just stay out vision. Three remain mid. Let's see if this plan, which is the only active play we have, will work or no. The only way this plan also works, by the way, is if your enemy team is dumb enough that they send people. If they send VTP. Why are you showing? Why are you showing? Just chill here. Oh my god. Aren't we fucking crazy if we carry this game? We can't. Wait. Go. Ain't no way, ain't no way we win a game like this. Nah, 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 yeah. Hey, dude, this, hey, this is not a legal carry. This is not legal. Nah, nah, nah. If you really want to win a game in solo queue with a team like this, you can actually win. At least she listened, by the way. Bro, that is nuts. We were down by 7k gold. What a game to fucking win like that. At least our team listened, but we made sure that the three remain in mid lane confidently as a sacrifice to cancel enemies back. And they did. But it's really good that they listened.